Hello everyone, my name is Adam Twilight, this is Hexmania, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Uh, we're just currently in the prologue right now and getting introduced to all the characters. So, next up... Oh my god. I am Hifumi Yamada, but if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega, I don't mind. Alright, do you write Omega Verse fanfic? Oh my god. I can't believe we're doing him immediately at the start of this episode. Okay. The ultimate fanfic creator. Yeah, you yeah, know, Omega Verse. I don't think Omega Verse had been invented yet by 10, uh, 2010, or at least, like, had entered, uh, like, Japanese spheres of possible fanfics. Uh, <laughs> By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? The world of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of, my one fa uh, of, my fan uh, of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event was, has passed into a legend. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I'd be tainted by the event. How stupid could it be? That, that's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving day and night to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to serve my work, Mr. Nayaki, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What, what kind of meaning? Do you mean like the Omega <laughs> I'm sorry. It's about embracing our basis urges. Oh, oh god, it is Omega <laughs> I don't think I want to comprehend it. Okay, now I to talk to those five people over there. Oh, I can investigate the... That surveillance camera has what looks to be a gun attached to it. But there's no way that's a real gun, right? <laughs> Holy cow, with this huge metal hatch, it looks like the kind of sea you'd see in a secret military piece or something. That is the same way in Hall I was in before, right? The store definitely wasn't here, though, then. Alright. Aoi Asahina. Hey, yeah, I'm Aoi Asa uh, Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. So. Cool. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen in an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. I have Discord notifications, my god. This is distracting. I apologize. I'm just gonna quickly see what's going on. Cause like, five notifications. Who is bugging me? Who is bugging me? Leave me be. Okay. <sighs> Nothing important. She has even been chosen in, as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions have been, has been li widely discussed online. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Makoto Naeki. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it. I'll hammer it in my brand right now. Yeah. Makoto Nagi. Makoto Nagi. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know. If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Mm. Um, well, I have no idea, <laughs> I'll just figure it out, uh, figure out and later and write it down. Anyway, glad to meet ya. S sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is that she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Chihiro! Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Hello, nice to meet you, I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Ah! I, I love them so much. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. 
Anyway, I hope you can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, good point, sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for cut uh, the cutting edge programs. She's created, she's the ultimate programmer. She's also that timid little bunny type thing go- eh. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which is a dear to her, uh, her to her legion of fans. Uh, hey, so listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, what are you apologizing for now? Um, well, just because he seemed upset, he must be mad at me, right? Uh, no, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Just, you know, lack of facial expressions because I'm a basic bland bitch of a protagonist. You only can speak in monotone. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her friends are uh, why her fans are so into her. I I I understand too. I love them so much. Uh Kyoko Kitty Kitty. Um, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Ultimate question marks, who knows? She's pretty type lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I, and I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or purpose, eh, or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing here at the school? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting inviting here means you're some kind of ultimate or something, right? So, what ultimate are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <gasps> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turn up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Okay, Junko Enoshima. Oh dang. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Ultimate fashionista. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited a helm bag with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. Come on, don't act so surprised. You can make me all depressed. Totally. It's not only normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin to look all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. I also know she has little freckles that are in her cover photos. It's cute. Oh damn, he's a retard. Name is Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet ya. Yo. <laughs> Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... He's the current leaker, uh, leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. Oh no! <laughs> he's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um... Nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. I better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Those four over there are the only ones left. Alright. Sakura Ugami. Uh, Ogami. Sakura Ogami. I am Sakura Ogami. Ultimate martial artist. Her. Ah, uh, I already love her. Buff woman. Oh jeez. I almost asked her if she was a guy. 
the day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human people. <laughs> but now I remember she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said of a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest re no, relative to the primates. She's the famed listening, uh, missing link. Oh, we can finally see that one comment that was blocked by text last time. So jealous. This is only for winners. How could anyone even get in? Ah, uh, I see. Any incoming hopes peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I didn't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey, hey you. Huh, yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you- I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. <laughs> what a shame. You're not a f at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Oh no! <laughs> Okay, Byakuya Togami. Name's Byakuya Togami. Name's Byakuya Togami. Oh, I gotta do my Haster voice for this guy. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byakuya Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already starting managing business operations, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title, The Ultimate Affluence Prodigy, is the uh, it's completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that hoax peak of Academy thread online. On. We're done with the introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. Bizarre says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. My god. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Alright. I'm Yasuro, uh, Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Ultimate clairvoyant. Dang, okay. Yasu, uh, Yasuhiro Hagakure. Known as Super no uh, Nova in the psychic communica uh, community. The trend setting. Uh, the trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty beyond me. Still, I can't help uh, help wondering if there's any truth to it. Ah, uh, okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. I saw what? Oh, <laughs> me and Makoto, which is in sync. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a sky bitch in its mouth? What? That guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewski some time and get real deep in the Lemurian civilization. <laughs> what? We're not allowed to drink, we're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see? And well, it's a long story. My god! <laughs> a few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. All right, last one. Celeste. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. I do not think we have been introduced. I'm Celestia Ludenberg. Ultimate gambler. Oh. <laughs> Celestia Luden, huh? Ludenberg. It is my name, but I don't mind if. But if you don't mind, I would prefer f for you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors, uh, rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the, gam uh, the ultimate gambler who's never lost bet. Other than her obvious love of gothi and gothic lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. <clears throat> <sighs> they say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. 
She's totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did. I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile's beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even without their all, uh, even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of um something. Okay, time to get down to business. There's no time to stand about, uh, stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, well, you see. Um, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, there was some... We were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird. That every one of us would just get knocked out like that. Exactly, that's why we're all freaking out. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classrooms and the hallway- eh. You saw where all the windows in the classes and the hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of mi big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um, yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA, any uh, PDA anywhere either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What's it doing there? Maybe we got caught up in some kind of like, you know, crime or something. Is it like what? Like a kidnapping? <laughs> you think that maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come, on. come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all part of the school's orientation procedure. Yeah, I'm sure that's it, so I'm gonna take it easy for a little bit. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, that's all that is. Nap time for me. I, I, mean. I was up way too late last night. I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then, it began. Ding dong, ding bong. What a coup of time. <laughs> Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh Ah, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at right now. <laughs> Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. That's all. I'll be waiting. What the hell was that just now? Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey, hey what? You're just gonna take off just like that? Ah, uh, yeah, now I get it. The whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank god it was all just a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? Alright, I guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Uh, Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they all have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait for me, I wanna go with you. <laughs> that is that then, I will see you all there. N not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. <laughs> Everyone took up for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Um, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However, Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only chance is to push ahead. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kinda, no, really nervous. We don't have much of a choice, we have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Yes, I would like to save. Uh, 
Okay. Let's just check. We're at 20 minutes. I'm gonna stop here. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.